For that person who will hear good news very soon, that impossibility on your way, Jesus will make it possible that you do know. For that person suffering from failure at the end of success, the Lord will make that impossibility possible in the name For those who want to break a new record that nobody has spoken in your family, the Lord will make that impossibility possible. In the name of Jesus. I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. For those people who want to be the first Joseph and Esther in their family and exceed the, 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 the height that anyone has ever attained, if you can say a big amen, God will make the impossibility possible in the name of Jesus. For those who are trusting God for local and international open doors, the Lord will make the impossibility possible in the name of Jesus. who want better life if you want better life in what you are doing if you want better life and you want to be celebrated i pray every possibility god will make possible in another day Amen. for those who are believing god for new ideas especially all the youth who can say the love amen every possibility on your way god will make possible in another day For those who are believing God for surprises and turn around, if you can be the one with the Lord of Amen, that Lord will make impossibility possible in the name. For those of you who, who want to begin something new, you want God to establish you if your amen can be the loudest, God will make impossibility possible in the name of you. This one, if you want God to upgrade your destiny, if you want God to upgrade your glory, you will lift up your two hands and say, Amen. The Lord will make every possibility possible in the name of Jesus. Hey, no. He will make it possible. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hey, no. It is done. Amen. Amen. Jesus, now we pray. Amen. Amen. Greet three people and be seated. God bless you. I want all these, those youths who sang to come to the microphone and remain there till I finish. The Lord is saying we should thank him. For anything in this convention. And that is why I want to take my time since I'm coming for two major days by the grace of God. We are going to sing this song. The first line says, For all that you have done, I will sing hallelujah. Say so, please. Hallelujah. <laughs> For all that you have done, I will sing hallelujah. Can we say so? Those who are believing God that anointing from you shall impossibility will come upon them. Anything I ask you to say, once it's biblical or biblically rooted, say it very well. Then say, for all that you are doing, I will sing hallelujah. Then for all that you will do, I will sing hallelujah. I will sing hallelujah, I will sing hallelujah. Unto, the Lord. unto the Lord. Listen to this rehearsal. For all that you have done, I will sing hallelujah. <laughs> For all that you are doing, I will sing hallelujah. Yeah. For all that you will do, I will sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah unto God. Amen. Did you get it? 
Then when I say, I never knew you will answer me like this, Baba. I never knew you will answer me like this. Oh, I never knew you will answer me like this. Answer me like this. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready now? I never knew you will favor me like this. I never knew you will favor me like this. Oh, I never knew you will favor me like this. You will favor me like this. Thank you, Jesus. For all that you have done, I will sing hallelujah. For all that you are doing, I will sing hallelujah. For all that you will do, I will sing hallelujah. Oh, sing hallelujah. Unto the Lord. Amen. May I request the portion of our pastor to be seated, please? Let's be seated here. Bishop, be seated. All the youth, be seated. People here, be seated. Let's watch. Please be seated. Now let us see whether they will thank the Lord. You are on your own now. When I say one, two, go. Number one, for all that you have done, past tense. All you have done, past participle, have you? For all that you have done, present. For all that you will, future. Let me see those who will kill the grandma here. Are you ready now? For all that you have done, I will sing hallelujah. For all that you are doing, I will sing hallelujah. For all that you will do, I will sing hallelujah. God bless you, sir. I sing hallelujah. God bless you. Unto the Lord. For all that you have done, I will sing hallelujah. Seven over ten. I beg you, don't disappoint the pastor. Those of us here, I trust all the youths here. Oh yeah, our, it's our group. In the name of Jesus. Seven over ten, dear. For all that you have done, I will sing hallelujah. For all that you are doing, I will sing hallelujah. For all that you will do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Over ten. They said seven over ten. Let everybody shout hallelujah. You will sing for joy in Jesus' name. The Lord wants me to quickly start a teaching on, oh Lord, take away my reproach. So that I can have unlimited possibilities. And there shall be restoration. 
Joshua chapter 5 verse 9. Throughout this convention, the Lord is sending a message that that reproach that is buffeting against your destiny will be taken away and you will not see it again in the name of Jesus. You are going to shout for joy in the name of Jesus. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day, during this convention, have I rolled away, rolled away the reproach of Egypt from off you. Thank you, those who said amen. We are for the name of the place is called Gigal to this day. I have been sent as a prophet of God, and I'm joining my faith with God's chosen servant in the house. To declare this message that for you to witness unlimited possibilities and for you to rejoice in the Lord during this convention, every reproach of Egypt that has been sleeping and waking with you over the years, and that is why your amen must be very violent, shall be rolled off in the name of Jesus. Shall be taken away in the name of Jesus shall be taken away in the name of Jesus. God himself spoke to Joshua, an anointed man of God, that the reproach of Egypt shall be taken away far from you. Very many people are praying for breakthrough. But there are reproaches that God must wipe off. That is why the power in the blood of Jesus is very potent. Colossians 2.14 says, Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that is against you. Contrary to you, Jesus had taken it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. What is that stain of reproach on your home? The stain of reproach on your finances, on your spiritual life. The blood of Jesus will completely obliterate and wipe it off if you can shout a big amen in the name of Jesus. It is when the reproach is taken away that you can be celebrated. That you can be recognized. Many people Today, they are languishing because of some reproaches. But God is here during this convention to roll them away. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 69, verses 19 and 20. Psalm 69, verses 19 and 20. I want all the youth in the house, so please lay all these words to heart. Get them born in your house because God is going to do great things. Greater than what we ever imagine. Verse 19 says, Thou hast known my reproach. It was in my gummy and my shame. It was it in my it you me. I my dishonor. It was it in my lola and me. Mine adversaries are all before thee. Reproach has broken my heart. When you stay somewhere secretly and you are weeping in the midnight, nobody to talk to. Loneliness is a reproach. Rejection is a reproach. Failure is a reproach. Attacks are reproaches. Sickness, any sickness is a reproach. So when reproach comes, it breaks one's heart. There is someone here I want to prophesy into the belly of your destiny, if you can say amen. That that reproach that has refused to go over the years tonight, the Lord will wipe it off in the name of Jesus. The Lord will wipe it off in the name of Jesus. The Lord will wipe it off in the name of Jesus. The Lord will wipe it off in the name of Jesus. The Lord will wipe it off in the name of Jesus. When reproach comes, what it does is that it breaks one's heart. 
But I remember one song. His name is Jesus. Jesus. Sad hearts weep no more. He has healed the broken hearted. Open wide the prison doors. He is able to deliver evermore. That's Jesus for you. He has healed the broken hearted. Look at the psalm. He said, reproach has broken my heart. And I am full of heaviness. Heaviness is a reproach. Everyone tonight hear this. Isaiah 10, 27. It shall come to pass today that the burden shall be taken off your shoulder and the yoke from your neck and the body removed and the yoke spoken shall be destroyed by the anointing. Every heaviness that is not making you to sing a new song. If your amen can be violent, let the Lord roll it away in the name of Jesus. 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 Roll it away in the name of for I found none. The only comforter is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is your comforter. It's your counselor. It's your advocate. It's your strengthener. It's your helper. It's your intercessor. It's your teacher. There is a limit.